Okay, in this video we're going to do a paper one problem uh, just that uses Pythagoras. Um, this this is pretty straightforward, but uh, it was the last paper two problem on one, or paper excuse me paper one problem on one of the tests a couple years ago. So let's look at this. Um, we have in the diagram angle BAC. Let's see, BAC is 90 degrees. Okay, and the lengths of the three sides are x, x plus seven, and x plus eight. Okay, this is a pretty common problem with Pythagoras, they you know they want to show that you can expand brackets or foil. Um, now remember, Pythagoras is a squared uh, plus b squared equals c squared. Any right triangle, you can find the sides that way. So it says write down and simplify a quadratic equation in which x in x, excuse me, which links the three sides of the triangle. Okay, so that's just going to be x squared plus x plus seven squared. Uh, and that equals x plus 8 squared. Okay, now I'm just going to move the paper down here. Okay, so we need to solve this. So, you know, x squared is easy. Now, x plus 7 squared. Now, a lot of kids will make a mistake here and they'll do, you know, oh, that's easy, x squared plus 49. Um, well, that's part of it, but that's not correct. If you're going to do x plus 7, it looks like this. x plus 7 times x plus 7. So you'd get, you know, if you distribute, you get x squared um, plus 7x plus 7x plus 49. So if you had done that, you would have left out the 14x's in the middle. So that's going to be x squared plus 14x plus 49. Okay, now we'll do the same thing here. Um, now, there is actually a shortcut to doing them this way. Um, and I'll do the, the second one with the shortcut. So if we have x plus... 8 squared, okay, we can, oh, excuse me, x, x plus 8 squared, so it's going to be x squared, then you multiply the, these two and double it. So 8 times 8, 8 times x is 8x, and then double it, so it's plus 16x, and then, you know, plus 64. So it, whenever you're in doubt, just, just foil it out like that. So our whole thing here, um, let me switch up the color a little bit. Um, okay, so the whole thing we need to simplify is going to be x squared plus x squared plus 14x plus 49 equals x squared plus 16x plus 64. Okay, so, alrighty. Well, we're just going to have to move all this around. Um, they want us to simplify it, right? A quadratic equation, so we have to make it equal to zero. Okay, so this is going to be 2x squared plus 14x plus 49, okay, equals x squared. Well, I didn't do much there. Okay, so why don't we move, why don't we move all this over? So we're going to do, um, you know, 2x squared minus x squared, we'll move the x over, plus 14x minus, um, that's an x, minus 16x plus 49 minus 64. Okay, and then now we can simplify that. So we're going to get 2x squared minus x squared is just x squared minus 2x um, and minus 15. Ooh, that's going to be a good one because we can factor that. Okay, so part B says solve the quadratic equation found in part A. So I just moved, I moved the page down here a little bit. Um, okay, so we can do this pretty easily. You know, what times what equals A times C, which is negative 15. And what plus what equals um, negative 2? Well, let's see. 5 and 3 look good, so but it's negative. So it's going to be negative 5 and positive 3. Okay, so our answer here is going to be x minus 5. Oh, crap. Okay, excuse me. x minus 5 and x plus 3 equals 0. So your answers are going to be 5 and negative 3. Uh, now I'll just put x equals here. Now you could do this on a calculator as well. And let me just show you um, again how to do that. Okay, so if you're going to do this with a calculator, you would just go into apps and go to poly simultaneous 2. And you want root finder. And it should already be set up. It's set up for a quadratic, the second order. Go to next and then just enter in the coefficients. So x squared, so that's 1x squared, and then it's, you know, go down, and it's going to be uh, negative 2, 
and then it's going to be, you know, press enter, and then it's negative 15. And just press solve right up here, graph. And there you go. There are your answers. So we know we did it right. So if you have trouble factoring, just, just break this out. Unless it says show that, um, and then they give you the answers, you, you don't, and you don't have to show your work, so you can just use poly simultaneous. Um, and that's for 2014, you don't have to show quadratics, so I would just go straight to that if you have any trouble factoring. Okay, and then so the last part here, just this is only a six mark problem. Uh, it says write down the value of the perimeter. Um, well, you know, when we were talking about distance, you can only use, you know, the positive one, so we're going to use five here. So I'm going to go back to the original triangle here and I'm going to sub in, you know, 5 for everything. So, you know, this is going to be 5. That will be, you know, 5 plus 8 is 13 and 5 plus 7 is 12. And if you know anything about um, Pythagorean triples, 5, 12, 13 is a very common one. 5, 12, 13. So we know we did it right. Um, there's also, you know, 3, 4, 5. Um, you know, well, there's a couple others. I can't think of any of them off the top of my head. Um, but anyway, those are the most common ones you'll see. So the perimeter, if you just add these, you're going to get what 25 uh, is 30. So we can go back down, and we're, our answer here is going to be 30 and uh, centimeters. Make sure you put centimeters so you don't get a uh, accuracy penalty. Um, or no, sorry, unit, pen unit, unit penalty. Okay, anyway, um, that's just a short problem, but it shows you um, how to expand brackets, shows you how to use Pythagoras, shows you how to factor a little bit. Um, not a bad little problem. All right, anyway, hope this helped out. Talk to you later. Bye.